what is up? This is Nick's Kicks 35 coming back at you today with yet another video. So we got the big boy knife. I finally got my pair in from Nike, the long awaited shock drop, which I actually got the shoes after they dropped. So I don't understand what the point of a shock drop is, but I will be calling Nike. My pair better be crispy. There better not be a glue stain. I, I don't know if it's me or not, but it's just highly pisses me off and offends me that you do a shock drop and people that hit on the shock drop get the shoes before they come out. Whole purpose of a shock drop. But I'm going to rant some other time. Let's check out the shoes because everybody else been on had them. I've been unpaid for them since April 19th. So let's see what we got. And it's May 6th, by the way. So that's how long it took to get these to me. Oh, well, I've opened up the box. They never shipped until I called Nike and asked them to ask them why my shoes ain't shipped yet and everything else. Then all of a sudden, no order was processed after I had called them. So I don't know what the problem with that was about. Opening this box upside down. So let's get these shoes out. So here we have it. The Air Jordan Retro 5 in a white and fire red colorway. Love this colorway, size 13. Is the name of the box says. True white, fire red, and black. Sorry about that. Um, OG style box, not quite an OG box, probably bigger than what the original box came in. But I love that Nike Air right there in the corner. Flip these back around, open them up. Woo! I had to wait so long, but I finally got you. So this shoe looks all right. Nothing else in there. Little quality control stamp right there. Set these down. Bring out the classic white and fire red Jordan 5s. I love these. I love the Nike on the back. Shoe is beautiful. Looks amazing. This is one of my favorite releases this year. Uh, long awaited, long awaited that I got these in the collection. I missed out on the pair from 2013. Um, I wasn't able to get those when they dropped. I can't remember why. I don't. I can't remember why I missed out on those, but I did. And that's the time where like retros were coming out. Like they had good retros coming out like twice a month and resale was too high. I wasn't paying $300 for a pair of Jordans. But anyways, um, in fact, I do love these in the collection. I mean, I'm just going to go over the shoe real quick. I'm going to put one aside. I mean, you have all white leather upper. Nike Air and stitched in the back instead of that Jumpman. Looks so much better than Nike Air. It looks like the back of the shoes filled out instead of some little teeny tiny Jumpman back there. Um, I probably would have still bought if they would have put the Jumpman, but still. We got the lace locks all the way laced up. I guess they put some type of cardboard right here to protect that 3M tongue. So that lights up. I mean, amazing shoe. One of my favorites. OG Classic. I love OG Jordans. I try to buy at least every OG colorway that comes out. On a pair of Jordans, at least one through 14. So this, you know, had to be a must cop. The leather is decent. Um, I mean, what we've been getting on the shoe, ain't nothing really too special about it. I mean, it feels better already than the, you know, previous 2013 release. Because a lot of those Jordans was like straight cardboard back then. But, I mean, awesome shoe. Awesome, awesome shoe. You got the black midsole with the red tees. I will be putting a pair of, um, what do you call it? Shields, soul shields or whatever on here. Yes, I will be throwing that on there. I'll do that in a separate video. If you guys just think that you can't put them on, I'm telling you, it is super easy. As long as you, all you need is a pen or a marker, a pair of scissors and a heat gun. And within like 10 minutes, man, within a few minutes, you'll have soul shields on your shoes. Um, I put them on my Concord 11s. So glad I did it. Wore my Concords, went out, got crap all over it. Man, when I took that wet rag from, you know, microfiber rag when I was cleaning off my shoes and everything, like, it, everything just wipes right off the bottom anyways. You don't got to worry about, I hate when I get crap all over my, you know, the soles of my sneakers. I mean, they are worth it. Um, so, I'm doing that in a separate video. But, the Air Jordan in the fire red colorway, the 5. I love this shoe. So, I'm just so happy I got it. I had to wait a long time for it, but... I'm happy that I got it. It's here. It's in the collection. I can stop worrying. So look out. I mean, I, not too much to go. If you guys already know, we're going to do the on foot with these. I'm going to show you how they look with um, jeans and sweats on because that's what, you know, it's kind of like out. It's raining, so I'm going to do the on foot inside my house. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You want to see 
more unboxings. You want to see, well, we can't do any pickups. I was going to say pickups. But, you know, we're going to do a lot of unboxings and things like that and check out from different sellers as far and see who did what and uh, who sold us fakes or who tried to sell us fakes or is this company selling fakes or anything like that. But these came from Nike. You already know this is Nick's Kicks 35. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. So here's the Jordan Fire Red 5s on feet. Rocking them with some blue jeans. I mean, that 3M tongue with the red jump man and just the red hits throughout on the white upper, especially with that Nike Air on the back of the shoe. It looks so phenomenal. I love the ice blue outsole and the black midsole. I mean, these shoes are super, super fire. I'm rocking them with some um, blue skinny jeans that I just happened to get tailored. Nothing too special. A pair of Levi's. Um, here's a look at them. We're going to get a look with these with the black jeans on. Um, the black jeans, I love the way that pops against the shoe with the white, the red, and then the black underneath. I mean, you really can't go wrong with these. Rocking them with blue jeans, black jeans, sweatpants, shorts. I mean, very universal shoe um, to wear with. Can't wait to rock these out in the summertime. I wish what was going on in the world wasn't going on, but what can we do about it? This is Nick's Kicks 35. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.